Hello, my name is Rachel and I like playing with makeup. So today I thought I would just do another little chatty get ready with me. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to ramble about stuff. But I'm going to use this Revolution uh, makeup palette that I've never used before that I bought at Marshall's like, I, I don't know, maybe even a year ago. <laughs> maybe, maybe not that long ago, but it's a Corpse Bride themed makeup palette. And... Yep, never used it. So we're going to see how that is. Revolution eyeshadows can be hit and miss. And then I also found at Walmart the other day these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle eyelashes, which I'm so excited to use. <laughs> they also had a really awesome um, eyeshadow palette, but I don't need any more eyeshadow. <sighs> so I, di I didn't get it because like, like I haven't even used this one yet and I have one other palette I've never even used over there in my makeup collection. So I'm like, no more eyeshadow. I'm not allowed to buy any more eyeshadow, but I can get the eyelashes. I don't know if you can see, there are different colors. Um, but we have blue, purple, orange, and red. So <laughs> I'm probably going to do the, uh, the Donatello's, which are the purple today. <laughs> But Leonardo, uh, Leonardo is blue, Michelangelo is orange, and Raphael is red. <laughs> and it even comes with um, glue. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that too. And yeah, let's let's uh, I guess just just get started because uh. <laughs> see what's what's going on. What's going on with you guys? <laughs> but let's see what's going on with me. Uh, the house sale went through. Uh, starting with just a uh, primer here. So I actually accepted a offer on the house the very first day it went live. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, during the process, before you get to closing, there's going to be inspections and, you know, tests and all this sort of stuff. And we did run into a few hiccups, uh, but I have the best real estate agent in the world. <laughs> She was absolutely amazing. Every time we hit a hiccup and I was like, I don't know what to do, threw my hands up. She, she had a solution and she got us through it and she, uh, we, we got there. And then like my, my handyman who I've talked about before and I've even shown him in uh, videos in the past, like when I did uh, the bathroom renovation in that house, um, he was able to come out last minute and save us last minute when there was a very last minute HVAC issue. <laughs> so, so it was just between the two of them, they were just amazing. Such a, such, you know, a weight off of my shoulders. We, uh, the, the closing was done in time. I think I mentioned in a video last week, I was afraid the closing was going to get delayed, but thanks to my amazing handyman and my amazing real estate agent, uh, she actually introduced me to him, uh, way back when she'd originally sold me that house in Richmond. And, uh, when my ex and I had broken up and I was like, I need a handyman to do all these projects. My ex never got around to, <laughs> She referred me to my handyman. So they're, 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 they were friends and then, you know, they're, they're, they're just the best team. They're, they're absolutely amazing. And, um, <laughs> let's see here. And they are both in some way part of the Richmond metal scene. <laughs> like my handyman was, is a musician and, uh, my real estate agent was also a part of that, that metal scene in Richmond. And I actually, I actually met her through my ex. Um, because he was part of the metal scene in Richmond, taping up my eyes as I always do. I mean, there, that is, that is the one good thing I will give my ex is I met a lot of amazing people through him. Uh, and I made a lot of just amazing friends through him. So, so I at least, I can at least look back fondly on that part. <laughs> so yeah, so the, the house got sold. I no longer have that hanging over my head. Um, and no more, you know trips out to Richmond for paperwork and whatnot. Now, if we go to Richmond, it'll just be for something fun. <laughs> and uh, speaking of fun, this this Sunday coming up, <laughs> we're going to see uh, Bryant, one of Bryant's favorite bands, not goth, <laughs> Limp Biscuit, <laughs> which I think is gonna be very entertaining, but I'm even more excited because Corey Feldman and his angels are what on the on the the list on the band list so i'm going to get to see Corey feldman and his angels which is just like i don't know from what everything i've seen is just sort of a dumpster fire so i'm so excited for that <laughs> yeah i i think a lot of us in our age group uh where i'm I, I just turned 51 recently and a lot of us in our age group loved the two Corys way back in the day they were the frog brothers in lost boys you know <laughs> 
lot of other movies too, but yeah, that's what I know them from because I love The Lost Boys. <laughs> Uh, and Corey Feldman uh, has has done some amusing, like there's an amusing horror movie kind of recently where he's like uh, comes he's a rock star who comes back from the dead to take revenge on the people who betrayed him, sort of thing. <laughs> okay, let's get on with this makeup. I'm going to put down. Uh, oh, I guess I should put my uh, eye primer on first. So so yeah, that's that's what's coming up for me for fun. I'm not sure if I'll I will vlog that. I might try. <laughs> I'm just, as you guys know, not great at the vlogging thing, but it's, yeah. I'm not sure if they'll allow filming, because like, um, we saw a few months ago, it was Pucifer, uh, and, and he doesn't allow filming it until the very end of the show. He'll be like, you're like, you'll get thrown out if you pull out your camera until the very end of the show. He'll be like, okay, you guys can bring out your cameras now and film this last song. <laughs> So I don't know if it'll be something like that where I wouldn't be able to really, you know, vlog it anyway. But but that's that's our plans for this weekend. Um, so yeah, I don't really think I have anything else too exciting coming up. Uh, in September, I think September is both because September is strangely close. I don't know how this year just, just slipped through my fingers like this. But September really is only, what, a month and a half away? <laughs> Oh God! But uh, in September, I think we have Colossal Con, which is a lot of fun. It's no, a convention, obviously, <laughs> but like an anime uh, cosplay gaming convention, and it's in this water park in Pennsylvania, uh, Kalahari, and it's absolutely amazing. Like last year, I didn't go into the actual convention itself at all. I just hung out in the water park the entire time. They had like the swim up uh, bars that are hot tubs, like the entire room. It's a whole room that's a hot tub with a swim up bar. And then they have like the wave pool and they have the, um, the, what are those, like slot tunnel slide things, really big ones. And it's all indoors, so the weather doesn't matter, <laughs> which is just absolutely amazing oh they do have one outdoor section when the weather is nice <laughs> and it also has a hot tub swim up bar <laughs> i think that's swim up bar maybe that's swim up bar what no i think it was still a hot tub i can't remember it might not have been <laughs> that might have just been a regular swim up bar but anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> and then at the end of september we have a uh another week beach trip this isn't a big one like he does every year around may uh this is um came about because a down payment had been put on a house for the big May trip, but then something happened where that house, we chose not to go for that house, but was able to transfer the money that went from the down payment onto a, another house. So he's able to completely pay for one in September, like a much smaller house in September. So it'll only be like maybe 10 of us in the, on that trip. Um, and it'll be, you know, the end of September. So it, it might be cooling off by then, but usually September is pretty good time I've always found to go to the beach. That used to be when I would always take my Bahama vacations. It would also be cheaper because hurricane season. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have good weather and that'll be a nice fun little trip. So I have a bunch of things coming up to look forward to. I um, like the getting ready right now. I'm not getting ready for anything fun or exciting. I'm getting ready to take Poshmark photos. So I've been putting a lot of stuff on my Poshmark. I've, I'm doing a you guys may or may not have seen my um, hanging up of all my clothes. So I was hanging up all my clothes into my new closet over here. Well, I decided to go through and do another closet clean out like I did before moving. Well, I'm doing another one now. I was just like, when I was hanging up all those clothes, I'm like, wow, so much of this stuff I haven't worn in years. I've maybe worn once. <laughs> I, Cause I just have other things I prefer to reach for. And yes, they're super cute and I don't want to let them go, but I got to get out of that mindset of clothes hoarding, clothing hoarding and let some of the stuff go that I just don't wear that often. So I, I went through and grabbed um, a bunch of dresses and I'm gonna force myself every week to at least grab two items out of my regular closet. Not forever, of course, I don't wanna get rid of all of it, but there is, I do want to pare it down a little bit because it's just, <laughs> it's just overwhelming to have that much clothing. And then I always reach for the same like five dresses. <laughs> So, and also I got to also put myself in the mindset that when I sell the clothing, I can go buy new clothing and, and buying new clothing is like my favorite thing. <laughs> so I need to start doing that. <laughs> and I don't even know what colors I'm going to go for in here. I just, I like a lot of these colors. I really like this dark blue right here. Uh, it's 
like a sparkly blue. I think I'll, I'll do that somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Maybe I'll try... Like these colors are kind of interesting, these two colors here. I think I'm going to go for one of those on the inside of my eye. I think I'm going to try this one. And when I bend too close to the mirror and you don't see anything at the top of my head, I'm going to cut those bits out like I usually do. And so, you know, I'll say I'm going to do this makeup and then suddenly I have makeup on. <laughs> but let's... Okay, this color is very pale. Let me try the other one. Okay, both of those colors... These two colors, they, uh, where are they? That one and that one. They're very pale shimmers. So not quite giving me the punch I'm looking for. So maybe I should have put a matte down first. So maybe I'll go in with this, this matte purple. And can I just cover that right up? Because why not? Oh yeah, that's more color. That's more color that I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to put those same two colors down on the other eye and then put the pad over it to get the same effect. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Yeah, so I'm pretty much completely settled now. You know, I have a, a tiny pile of boxes in this back corner over here that I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. I have a huge pile of boxes over here that needs to go to Goodwill because I didn't apparently do a good enough job cleaning out before moving. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's just, this stuff is just never ending. <laughs> This, this whole garage is just jammed full of my stuff. Like, I, I'm, I want to get a, uh, a laser cutter. And the one I'm looking at is fairly big. And I'm like, well, I guess the only place I'm going to have to put it is I have a kitchen table set up over here, the one that used to be in my old kitchen. And I was like, I guess that's the only place I have to put it. And he's like, you've already filled up that entire garage? I'm like, yeah, pretty much every inch of space that's been taken. I've turned it into a little apartment. I have, like, little rooms going on, little sections that are different rooms going on in here. And I am, I have put it to capacity because I just had too much stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I ever talked about the movers because I hired movers and I'm going to go in with that dark blue now for the outer corner. So I, I had hired movers because I just, you know, 51 years old. <laughs> I don't want to be lugging couches around anymore, right? <laughs> and, you know, getting people to help and all, it's just too much hassle. So I was like, fine, I'm just going to pay for it. I, I maxed out my credit cards. To, to pay for moving, um, oh, well, not just move, for moving, to, to pay for everything I needed to do the house pre-sale and then also uh, for moving. <laughs> but it was like $1,500. It was $1,500 and then an extra $300 because he couldn't fit everything into the moving truck and had to go back for a couple things the next day that he could, that he could fit in his van and then brought them down with his van, so I gave him another $300 for that. But it's like, they broke so much stuff, which is actually in a way kind of for the best because I didn't have room for that stuff anyway in the end. But they broke so many sets of shelves uh, by, by little, it was a bench that hides a cat box, they broke that, uh, so much stuff. And, and like, when I was going through like dishes and stuff, I found broken dishes that didn't survive their manhandling when they were throwing the boxes around. Uh, they just, they, they weren't, they weren't careful. <laughs> Fortunately, they did not damage or at least seriously damage uh, the, uh, the thing I probably cared most about, which is I have one real good piece of furniture, one really nice good piece of furniture, and it's a cherry antique dresser from my mother. Um, and and they, as far as I can tell, there hasn't, wasn't any major damage on that. Um, but that's like the only thing they didn't really damage. <laughs> oh, oh, and my fireplace seemed to make it in one place. So that's good because I have that little, like, just decorative fireplace that you put the little, like, sterno cans in for, like, the ambiance. I've done uh, some of my Christmas things reading in front of it before. But, yeah, the, the, uh, that made it in one piece, too. And those are the two things I was probably most cared about, cared about the most. So, so it's okay that they broke a bunch of shelves and stuff. It was whatever. And like I said, I, I didn't really have room for them anyway. So, so it worked out, but it was still just kind of annoying how not careful they were with everything. And yeah, they, <laughs> and if I had paid closer attention to the reviews, I would have realized that was a pretty, like, seems to be pretty common with all movers that that complaint is in there somewhere and these particular ones like won't take responsibility and pay you for anything broken so I didn't even bother trying to be honest so it's like it's not a big deal it's all just you know prefab Walmart furniture I, I can 
uh, replace it if I need to, but I didn't need to because I didn't have any room for it anyway. So it all worked out in the end, but it was just kind of annoying. And they did break like a plate that I'm kind of sad about because it, it was part of a set. So now I'm down one on the set, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. They weren't expensive plates. They were just some Halloween ones from, uh, you know, TJ Maxx or Home Goods a few years back. But yeah, so that was my experience with movers. Would I hire movers again? Probably if I needed to, but, but just, just know that if there's something you really care about, maybe you should move that one. <laughs> Cause like, I swear every mover whose, whose reviews I read, there were at least four complaints in there about them breaking stuff and refusing to accept responsibility for it and not reimbursing people. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to find a good mover, but yeah, I mean, yeah. They were just throwing stuff around. It was like, I, I could tell, like, just when they were loading up, I was like, this is not going to end well. In fact, they broke a few things before they even left the house. And I was like, okay, never mind. We'll just take those to the dump. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing where I paid him the $300 to bring those last couple of items. He was also supposed to get the stuff that they destroyed at the house that was still at the house and take it to the dump. But he didn't go back and do that part. So he only, he did bring the stuff. Probably because I was withholding most of that $300 till he brought it. But he didn't finish the job for me. And I just, I just let it go. I wasn't going to leave a bad review for him or anything. I just, I don't know. I, the problem was I liked him. <laughs> I was getting to this, this trouble where, on a personal level, I liked the guy who was running the company. But, yeah, uh, I would not have... I would not recommend his service, so he didn't get a positive review. He would have still gotten a positive review if he actually had gone back to the house and taken the stuff to the trash. Because, you know, that would have been enough above and beyond for me to overlook all the broken stuff and find a way to be honest, <laughs> but still give him a positive review. But he, since he didn't do that, I was like, well, he's not getting a positive review, but I'm not going to leave a negative review either. There are enough negative reviews that I should have paid attention to. <laughs> like I said, everyone I looked at had negative reviews in that vein, so I'm not sure it would have mattered. <laughs> so yeah, so I was moving, <laughs> but you know, it's all done now. It's I, I'm still I still occasionally will find something damaged because <laughs> I still have those couple of boxes left. But it's it, like I said, not a big deal. I, I look at a lot of it, a lot of the stuff. Like I said wasn't super important to me so I just looked at it as well I guess I was just meant to get rid of this okay where am I oh, face I wanted to do some face powder oh, I'm just kind of rambling and rambling and not paying attention to what I'm doing but it oh, I almost just covered my face in highlight that would have been a mess <laughs> okay here's my face powder which is almost completely empty this is just my favorite I really need to get another one of these I tried a couple different types and I always just keep coming back to this one Oops, oh, pad fell <laughs> But yeah, let's see, what else? Um, okay, so, got my powder on. I, as always, have a couple of small dry patches, but not too bad, actually. I, like, where I moved to, we're near the water. It's Port, Portsmouth, Port's Mouth, Portsmouth. <laughs> so we're at the mouth of the port. <laughs> we're, we're only like 15, 20 minutes from beaches. Uh, I have to cross a very large bridge uh, in, in the, I guess, port or sound or something. <laughs> oh, well, it's a tunnel, then a bridge to get here. <laughs> so it's a lot more humid here. So I think that's been good for my skin because I feel like I have, I still have some small dry patches, but I feel like I have fewer dry patches. So that's good. <laughs> okay. And what, what else? What else? Oh, I... Some, some of you, uh, I'm sure some of you already know this. Some of you probably were also, um, you know, viewers of, but I had uh, recently found out that a YouTuber that I used to watch a lot and really liked passed away. And she was young. She was only 30 years old. But um, I, I started watching her in like 2016. I don't think I started watching YouTube until like 2015, 2016. Um, and, and then like I watched her like, religiously till probably about 2020 and then I, I um or maybe yeah 2020 like when I the thing, the thing is when I started doing YouTube videos I kind of stopped watching as many YouTube videos I'm not sure why 
but but yeah so she was one of the the, the first like bigger youtubers that i was kind of into um and uh oh i haven't said her name pretty pastel please her name was um alex and her channel name was pretty pastel please and although her aesthetic wasn't wasn't mine i really enjoyed her personality and her bird and she had, for a while there she had dogs too and, and just her content in general and you know and i was thinking about the nature of it because when i heard that that you know she had passed it, it was like it was sad to me in, in the way that celebrities had never really been sad to me before like i remember being really confused when i was young and uh john lennon died and my mother cried <laughs> and i didn't understand and I've never really, you know, been that way about celebrities. Like, I'll hear about a celebrity passing, and it's like, oh, well, that's, I guess that's sad, but I have no, you know, it's sad in that human way, but not in a personal connection sort of way, because I never really developed personal connections with celebrities. But it, it's so much easier to do that on YouTube, because, you know, most YouTubers are or at least when they start, and <laughs> they might become big personalities later on, but they are just people. They're just people sharing their lives. And and when someone's just sharing their life, you feel like you, you get to know them, right? Like, it's that parasocial relationship thing. And and it's like, so when I heard about she had died, it felt like more like hearing an old friend had died, if that makes sense. Like, not someone I was currently close to, so not like, like when I lost my friend last year and yeah, it wasn't like that, but it was still like hearing an old friend that, that you haven't seen in a while died and that sadness. And then and then it also occurred to me, I had never once even so much as left a comment on one of her videos. So I'm someone who completely didn't exist in her world at all. So I, I'm feeling, uh, I, I'm, but I'm still feeling, the, I, but, but that's, I, I mean, that's just the way that I guess that that relationship dynamic works. I just thought it was weird and interesting to experience it that way, I guess, kind of for the first time. <laughs> so, and it also gave me more understanding <laughs> of my mother's connection to celebrities <laughs> when, when, you know, I was younger. <laughs> so let's see here, where am I? Put on some of the, some of the highlight now. But yeah, but yeah, that's just so sad. She's, and the thing was, I, I did watch a couple of her videos because she, like, maybe, maybe a year ago, eight months ago, something like that, started, uh, started doing some videos again because she had kind of gone quiet for a while, and I think that's why one of, another one of the reasons I stopped watching her. But uh, she was going through some hard things like divorces and and uh, separation from friends and stuff like that, um, and and her aesthetic was changing. She was becoming more goth. So I was like extra, I was like extra sad because I was like, oh no. I was going to even love her content even more now. I know that's silly, but wow. I just, it's just so sad though, because she was just such, such, her personality. I mean, I, don't, I, I obviously don't know what she's like in real life, but her personality just made her seem like the sweetest, nicest person. And it's just, it's just so sad to me that. She was so young. She was so young. I have no idea, you know, how she died, what she died of. And honestly, it's none of my business because I'm not, you know, close friends or family. But, but it's just sad. And, okay. Let's get off the sad topics. I'm going to go put some, uh, uh, what's this called? Mascara on. And I have to go grab a lipstick because I, I didn't bring lipstick. Oh, I'll see you guys in just a second. <laughs> Okay, so I actually decided to do the Raphael ones, which are, I think, technically red, but they look pink. <laughs> so I just thought the pink would be a nice contrast because, you know, I have sort of the more pinky purples underneath. So just to, to you know, break up the color a little bit more so I'm not all just purple purple. But, so you can see these. But yeah, no, they're, they're pretty cute. I'm... Um, like, I feel like maybe I put them too far over to the edges. Like, maybe I should have moved them in a little bit more, but but it's fine. And <laughs> they're just so cute. However, I will say the, and this, this happens a lot with um, these types of lashes, the glue they use to glue it to the container is a little bit too strong. So it distorts the lash when you pull it off. And that's kind of annoying. But other than that, 
<laughs> they're really cute. And I think they were like, it was like $12 for the four pairs, so like $3 a pair. A lot more than I normally pay. I normally get magnetic lashes, like 10 pair for $8 off of Amazon. <laughs> but I just, I couldn't resist the novelty of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle eyelashes and the cute colors on the corners. <laughs> and also, and in, you know, and the glue seems to be working reasonably well too. So, so that's nice. The glue that it came with was working reasonably well too. I like that little component that the glue is in. So anyway, moving on. And for lipstick, I got this Juvia's Place Purple and I want to top it with this Laura Geller. Um, it's like a, it looks dark in the tube, but it really is just like a sheer um, shimmery purple. So yeah, so since I'm settled, I really need to start finding uh, craft events and stuff. Like there's a brewery around here that I've done a couple events at in the past that I need to start getting more active with again. and. There's a few shops that do like consignment or, or you can rent little booths to put your wares in that, you know, are more uh, alternative and different. Um, so I can do something like that as well. And I just need to actually get on that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that dry down before I put the topper on because the topper removes a little bit of it. <laughs> like even when it's dry, but yeah. So I really need to get on that. I have, I have a whole bin still of scale mail tops and I will not be doing Dark Horse Fest next year which is which is sad to me but the dates that they scheduled it for just happened to coincide with Bryant's Bryant's week-long beach trip that we do every year and next year the house is like even bigger and more amazing than past years so I was like I could still go on my own, but it's driving all the way to New Jersey by myself. And, and I have plenty of friends that would help me with the setup and tear down and stuff, but do I really want to drive that seven, eight hours by myself? And, and do I really want to miss the first part of beach week because the beach week starts on the Saturday of dark horse fest and I wouldn't get home until Monday afternoon. So I wouldn't get to the beach trip until the Tuesday. So I'd miss several days and and I just decided I didn't want to go through all that hassle and I would just miss Dark Force Fest this year which like I said I'm a little sad about but also I don't want to miss the beach week <laughs> in this amazing house I can't wait until we go to this house I can't wait to show you guys this house it's so cool it's like the one that I showed you that we stayed in again this year but I showed you two years ago which was the same one we stayed in this past year uh, which I tried to do the another vlog for you all but then my phone died <laughs> halfway through that week <laughs> oh, god but, but this house is like so much nicer like that house was amazing that house had a pool with a lazy river and it has the elevator and the game room and the theater and this new house has all of that just on steroids it has this new house has a gym and a sauna and the pool there's no lazy river but the pool is so much larger and then it has like a little um uh, like whirlpool at the end, one end of the pool, and then one of those little uh, areas where you put a beach chair and you have the water just barely covering you so you can lay in the sun. And not that I do that, but still, it's cool that it's there <laughs> so people can sunbathe half in the water. And then they have the hot tubs they have, or like 10 people hot tubs, not the like four people hot tubs that the other places have. <laughs> or you know five people maybe five people although we were putting like six and seven people in those hot tubs and overflowing them and anyway that's beside the point we can fit like 10 people in one of these hot tubs and the beach is again just right over the ridge just house pool beach <laughs> but it's just the, the house itself like the kitchen it's unbelievable just unbelievably gigantic and then behind the kitchen is a caterer's kitchen so you have a kitchen behind the kitchen <laughs> just it's just crazy it's crazy and they have like like a hotel has like office space because we have a lot of people who who work from you know will work from the beach when they come to beach week so, and, and you know in the past they've always had problems finding that quiet spot because the house is just open and people are partying non-stop every hour of the day but this place actually has quiet rooms specifically for working like hotels do <laughs> so it's just the coolest house you know the huge theater and an arcade <laughs> I think the arcade had ski ball. I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe it was supposed to have ski ball, but it didn't for some reason. But anyway, the house is just amazing. Uh, it has an extra floor. There's still the elevator, but it has this extra floor that is its own suite with like a kitchenette and everything that uh, um, 
possible some people are going to rent out that whole floor just for their small group. But anyway, so I didn't want to miss all that. I didn't want to miss all that. And let's see, my lips dry yet. So I am going to miss Dark Force Fest. I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'll be going on the Gothic Cruise next year. I think it's in February and it's out of New Orleans, which is like my favorite city. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm most likely still going to be booking the Gothic Cruise, but I won't be doing that until about a month out because I never do until about a month out because trying to cancel a cruise is just such a headache that I want to make sure I'm definitely going. <laughs> So, so I usually end up paying a little bit more because I'm not getting the early bird specials, but I'm also not risking as much as I would if I, you know, booked now and then had to cancel a month before. And then at that point, most of your deposit, you don't get to get back. It's like, because like you get less and less of your deposit back the closer you get to the cruise. So, so I won't book until like the month before. And I, I am most, will most likely be going on the cruise again, but it's, it's still slightly up in the air, uh, but yeah. So that's what's coming up, I guess, in the next year. Mm. I just love this stopper, but yeah. So that's that's, I guess. I guess that's it. I guess that's everything that that's going on with me right now. I really do need to get on this like crafting thing. Like I said, I have a whole bin of tops, and I won't be doing my largest event that I always do. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna want to make more tops between now and then. It's actually one of the reasons I want this uh, laser cutter, laser uh, engraver, because I want, I have this idea in my head of laser engraving the scales, like doing patterns on the scales and then making tops with these pattern scales. <laughs> and I'm really excited about this idea. I'm sure someone else has already done it because every time I come up with an idea, someone out there has already done it. <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet, so it's not common. <laughs> So I really want to want to do that, um, but like I said, the the the, the one I'm looking at is huge. <laughs> so so the only place it's going to be able to go is that kitchen table. I forgot to finish up that I, I that thought and conversation with how I've already taken over this entire garage. Because <laughs> like Brian had wanted to do a few things out here too. He'd wanted to put like his weight bench out here, <laughs> and I've already just completely covered every square inch. And we even got a storage shed so that we could put like all the the like lawn stuff and so none of that stuff's in here that's all in the storage shed that we we'd gotten <laughs> and i still took i took every square inch i took every square inch of the space and i will be showing you guys sometime in the near future i just need to get all that stuff to goodwill and i might still show you even when i have that small pile of stuff in that back corner just because I'm not yet sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, it's also the back corner that we eventually want to put a little kind of, not a full kitchen, but a kitchenette in because there's a, uh, a rough in for a sink and we want to put a sink and some counter space. And then I want to get like, um, you know, an electric kettle so I can make hot water and have tea and an instant soup <laughs> when I'm out here doing things. I don't have to run into the house every time I need something. He has a mini fridge that he takes on um, camping trips that I, I'll be able to use when he's, you know, because obviously he's not always camping. <laughs> and, and then I'll be able to have cold drinks out here too. So just like, you know, eventually we're going to get around to that too. But I still have a bunch of boxes in that corner that I got to figure out what to do with first. <laughs> oh gosh, so much, so much. But yeah, so I, I guess, I guess that's it for right now, guys. I'm sure there are other things I wanted to discuss that I've just completely forgot because as you guys know, I, I, I can't write down notes. I'm not even good at bullet points. I'm just like, oh, I should talk about this, that, and the other. And then I get in front of the camera and talk about other things and, and never whatever I wanted to talk about. But how are you guys? Back to, how are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy the video, of course, you can give it a thumbs down. And please tell me all about it in the comments below. And as always, there will be like a Poshmark link down in the, uh, the um, description box below because as I said I'm about to go take a bunch of Poshmark pictures so within the, the next week or two I'm going to have a bunch of new stuff on my Poshmark <laughs> so yeah if you're in the U.S. check that out <laughs> and subscribe to the channel and I hope everyone is just staying happy healthy and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in and I will talk to you all soon Bye bye